All right, so what is good, everybody, on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy, B, Bullet RC, coming at you guys again with yet another, and yet another steal. Now, a few months ago, you guys saw my last video where I picked up the Motorsport 4s from Plato's Closet for 75 bucks cleaned them up and let them go. So back then I'm thinking, okay, that was my deal. You know what I'm saying? Out of the year, that's probably gonna be my best come up. You know what I'm saying? I got lucky once and I just need to be humble the rest of the year with whatever I get. But lo and behold, did the thrift gods bless the kids. So a few days ago, I'm just walking through the thrift, regular degular on a Wednesday, by the way, which means super saver, which means it's half off of everything in Salvation Army. So I'm walking through, I'm looking around and I walk past a shoe rack, right? I see the toe box of a specific shoe, a Jordan. And I'm thinking, yo, these joints are fake, bro. Like there's no need to even pick them up. But I didn't even have my vlogging camera on me. So I was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. You know, I was thinking like, I don't usually find any good shoes. Don't even need to pick them up. But today, that day, at least your boy had time so the frugal boy bull goes over picks up the shoe and discovers it's a size 11 from 04 and the shoe is right here and once again they were marked at 12.99 your boy came in on a wednesday because i know it's half off on wednesdays and i got a pair of jordans for 650 and hold up hold up haters hold on because i know some y'all on your keyboards y'all are ready y'all are about to be like there's no way you got them for 650 there's no way they were 12.99 there was no video proof it's fake this whole video is fake bull's fake fuck bull he's a hype beast he's a fucking broke boy fuck this channel i'm going to subscribe and then unsubscribe dislike and flag the video because i'm a bitch like that just relax we have the receipt you know what i'm saying we have receipts right here for those who may think I'm lying or don't believe me. We have the receipt and I guess I can play the B-roll on the screen right now. So $12.99, half off at the thrift store, an insane still in my opinion. For a shoe from 2004 to come up on them like that for $6.50 and they're not even in bad condition, bro. If I take some rejuvenator, clean it up a bit, do some light restoration work on these, I pay $6.50, bro, I can get 60 to 80 bucks back out of these, easy. And here it is, bro, the thrift blessings for six dollars and fifty cents a size 11 air jordan 11 low i.e and i believe this is the concord colorway i'm just saying that because it is the concord purple hits on the bottom as well as the carbon fiber plate on the bottom so we're gonna get into both shoes look at them a little bit better so you guys can see actually how dirty they are and we're going to do a light restoration today of course with the help of the homies over at rejuvenator we're gonna bring these back so right here we have the left shoe and I tried to not touch anything. I even left the stickers on there just so you guys can see. This is the exact condition the left shoe is in right now. Now the laces are really, really dirty. The white upper really isn't that bad. As you guys can see to the inside of the shoe, the condition and the look of the shoe really isn't bad for a $6.50 come up, especially something that's from 04. This is a very very old shoe i mean it's true it's about 12 13 years old and there's not really any soul separation or anything like that you guys can see the bottom and how those look now of course they do have their yellowing across the front and the back honestly me looking at them right now i don't really think that these were worn more than i would say 10 times i mean the jordan jumpman logo on the inside is still there it's still fully intact and we will have to throw these in the washer so we're gonna have to see how that goes plus I'm gonna have to clean out the insoles. A little scuff down here on the outsole too, but I feel like I can get that off of with some acetone or some good scrubbing. So that is the left shoe. The netting around the outside is a little bit dirty as well. So that's the left shoe, that's how it looks. And of course, once again, the laces are just, the laces are dingy, bro, the laces are dingy. So let's go ahead and move to the other shoe, which is right here. Now this one, the right side, is a little bit more dirty there's a little bit more wear on this one seeming like here's a top down view it does still have the full jordan jumpman logo on the inside the laces are still dingy as fuck basically on both pairs the elephant print is still there there's not any wear or tear or anything coming up from the bottom i think the main thing that is dirty on this shoe is going to be the outsole the midsole as well as some of this netting on the inside of the shoe as well you guys can see towards the back of the shoe this is the netting there's a, obviously a clear mark right there and then if you move to the outsole of this shoe if i move the dingy laces out of the way once again yelling on the front yelling on the back and i will not be de-yellowing these for this video i'm just going to be cleaning the uppers and just trying to get them as clean as possible without having to de-yellow them because honestly from the side they don't look too bad at all i mean it's 
pretty regular. I think it looks all right, especially with this colorway. So that's just like a quick look at both shoes so you guys can see the condition. I'm probably just gonna do one in this video just so I can compare at the end and I will let you know which one I decided to do. So now we need to go ahead and get everything that we need together. We need all the tools necessary for the job. So give me one second. So number one on the list right here is what I like to call the secret sauce, but it is known as the Rejuvenator Advanced Sneaker Clean Solution and there's a jet. There's a jet passing by right now. So obviously when you buy some kicks, you gotta clean them up. So the first thing is what I call the secret sauce, like I said before, the sneaker cleaning solution. Now this is a little exclusive that we got me and Tony for a sample. These may or may not ever release, we will see. This is the regular container it will come in, but you need the cleaner, of course, that's number one. Now at number two, since most of this shoe is all leather and harder materials besides the elephant print, of course we're gonna be using two brushes. Now I'm just gonna stick to the all-purpose brush, and then for the bottom and the outsole, I'm gonna stick to a harder brush, as you guys can see. And obviously, if you're gonna be using the brush and the cleaner, you need something to hold it with. Now you can use a little Tupperware container. I just have this collapsible bowl right here, but any little container that'll hold some water for you to dip the brush in, toss some of the solution, in that's what you need it for this is the secret sauce holder right here now at number four this isn't a necessity I mean you can use socks or something else just know that's gonna suck up some of the moisture and these don't just go ahead use some shoe trees while you're cleaning them and as well while they're in the washer just so you don't lose the shape while you're trying to clean the shoe just helps it keep its structure overall next up you're gonna need a towel just a small little cloth washcloth I have the fancy rejuvenator one right here but your regular washcloth or cloth will work as well this is just a little bit better for cleaning and anything like that and then last up just to help us clean out the laces and just give it that last deep clean I have the rejuvenator sneaker laundry detergent as well as the sneaker laundry bag down here that's gonna be that that last push just to get all those extras and those little things we couldn't scrub out out in the wash now I ain't gonna lie your, your boys washer is broke right now i think it's clogged up or something so i'm gonna have to hit up my parents house but we're gonna still do it though i still got you so this is what we're gonna do i decided to go ahead and use the left shoe the one with the stickers all over this is the shoe we're gonna clean and we're gonna leave the right shoe nice and dingy for that end of video comparison so first off i need to go ahead and take off some of these stickers on the shoe and then we need to start with taking the laces out and then we're gonna throw some shoe trees in there just to make it a little bit easier for us. And your boy already has the water. It's wet like water over here. So just give me a second. Now it's back to me, nigga. I took my click, turned it to faculty, nigga. Took my operation to factory, nigga. When I'm in the zone, they won't tackle me, nigga. I touch down in the city. A fucking walking target. Still, man, all my bitches miss me. Yeah, they miss me. Next up, I'm gonna just go ahead and take the insoles out of these joints because Damn, they were even still, you never even took the insole out of these joints, they're still sticking on the bottom. I'm gonna need to clean these joints separately from the shoe, as you can see, your boy. Damn, it looked like he wore these joints with no socks. I can see his foot clearly in these joints. So yeah, obviously these insoles are grimy. Your boy's footprint is still in there, so we gonna, uh, we're gonna have to clean these up separately. And now that the insoles is out, y'all already know what time it is. Go ahead and throw your shoe tree on the inside to give you guys a little bit better of a base while you're going ahead and cleaning the shoe. And bam, we are prepped and ready to go ahead and give these guys the bath that they so desperately needed. This is if you ask me what's my interest, all my interests involve interest. It oh. ain't nothing to cut that bitch off, but you can't cut my percentage. No, no. With the bases loaded, all we need is a hit, boy, I'ma still swing for the fences. Down. I guess you tend to overdo it. it. When you come up under privilege, look, I came to my senses. I can never count on people. So a quick update. I have most of the uppers cleaned already. Just know that since it's a white shoe, the elephant print is gonna look a little bit darker just because it's sucking up some of that more Moisture. I need to go in here. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe some of this down as well. Next up, I need to work on the midsole as well as the outsole and try to get as much as possible as I can off of here. Can't even trust the senses in this world full of venom. All I need is my spider senses, my short temper to cool out. Yeah, sometimes I need woosah. Time to get paid by the goo guys. My office on top of that rooftop for my mama, Myra Anderson. Tell me who gonna be set for like Myra and her son. For sure. What's up for the fam? They don't eat, I don't eat. I can't rest on my feet till they all on their feet. They say 
say rest your eyes. I'm just like, why? Bitch, I ain't never seen Ben Frank asleep, but I do. Alright, so another quick check in. As you guys can see, most of the uppers have been clean. The midsoles on both sides have been cleaned as well. And then I tried to do my best on the outsole. And for a shoe that is 10 plus years old to only have this amount of yellowing, once again, I think that whoever had this shoe before me. I'll, I'll even take it down. I don't think they wore more than like five times. So you guys can see the uppers are a lot cleaner. I have not gone ahead and hit the guts on the inside, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a little stats update how they're looking because to me, they're already looking a lot better. I'm gonna go over the tongue once more. There is a stain right here that is just, it's just trying to stay, bro. It's just not trying to come out. So there is a little stain right here. I'm gonna go ahead, hit the tongue, hit the insides, and then we'll be right back because at that point, once we get this done, and once we clean over the actual insole, which is dirty, once again, dingy insoles, we should be able to throw them in the washer. The stock going up, making all the right moves, boy. You would have thought that I got tipped off. You would have thought these niggas fell off a skateboard the way they take these hoes and trick off. I got a rich girl, I swear to God, dog, man. She's like a walking ATM. Except she ain't coming withdrawals. I know y'all been having good music withdrawals. I cannot deal with the fuckery that fake shit you be in. All that bullshit that you rapping, honestly, just makes me cringe. Money doesn't grow on trees. Okay, someone explain to me that. All right, so after the initial deep clean, you guys can see the whole upper looks a lot brighter. The only thing that looks darker is the elephant print. And once again, that's just because it is wet. Once it dries, it will look a lot lighter and a lot better. Now, one thing I want to note is that the outsoles themselves look a lot, a lot better already from when they originally dropped in the studio. The midsoles look better. The netting around the shoe looks better. And the only, only stain that your boy is having problems with is this one right here on the tongue. Now, good thing is when you're wearing the shoe, when you have the laces in, you're probably not even gonna notice that. But of course, it's like the one and only spot I'm having trouble with on the shoe. As far as everything else goes, it's coming together really well. The white upper is gonna look good. Once I throw them in the washer, we still need to throw them in the washer. Now, since your boy has to take a quick trip to the parents' crib to go ahead and use the washer machine, I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you guys how you would go ahead and use the sneaker laundry detergent and have the B-roll to go for it. So what you're gonna do is, first off, take your shoe, throw it inside the sneaker laundry bag. That's simple, that's easy. You throw it in and you cinch it up. Now, as well as you wanna throw in the laces too in the bag, with the shoes just to give it that extra deep clean. Now, as far as the actual laundry detergent works, you're just gonna take it, take off the cap, fill up this little top cap, you're just gonna squeeze the bottle, and then you dump it into a wash cycle on cold, and you can just set the water level to low. Once you got your water levels right, your temperatures right, go ahead and toss in the shoes, close the lid, turn it on, wait about 40, 45 minutes, take them out, and then you're just gonna go ahead and allow them to dry. At this point, once they hit, the washing machine and come out, you're basically in a home stretch. At that point, you're just waiting for the shoe to dry and return to its original color. Go ahead and throw your laces back in. I mean, if you wanna go ahead and dry the laces, you can if you wanna throw them in the dryer or just sit your shoes outside, that is okay. But if you're gonna do that, just make sure it's not too hot. Once again, the glue on the shoes can come apart. So you just wanna throw it outside in some shade, maybe, maybe in the breeze, it might dry your shoe a little bit quicker than a fan on the inside of your crib, you know? So with all that being said, hopefully the sneaker laundry detergent B-roll is done and when we come back we will have the final results of the shoe hopefully I can get these dried in time for you guys but I'm not gonna waste any more time let's see what we can do let's see how it turned out six dollars and fifty cents to what what else one eternity later and here they are bruh after all the cleaning after letting them dry this is the result that came out obviously you guys can tell a way brighter a way wider upper on these i think one of the biggest signs is just the sole if you guys look at this sole versus this sole obviously there's a clear difference and that was just from scrubbing them that wasn't even from trying to de-yellow them or anything this was just from scrubbing them down you guys can see the clear difference between right out of the thrift store to the version that we cleaned and obviously another thing is just the laces cleaning up the laces on a shoe can make them just look that much better you guys can compare boom boom this one just looks dingier bruh it just looks dustier versus this one over here now the one thing i did have problems with which i expected is the toe box now if you guys look at each toe box 
there's a little bit of soul separation on the pair that we went ahead and cleaned up. And I was expecting that because, I mean, first off, it's an 11. You know, they do that all the time. It's such an old shoe, and I'm pretty sure after wearing them a couple times, that would happen regardless. That's not something that's hard to fix. I'm just letting you know that when you're dealing with old shoes, you might have to do a little bit extra. Another quick thing I wanted to say is that down here, you guys can see kind of like these little dark marks. Those would be easy as well just to tack up, take some white paint and just touch up right there near the sole. And once again, this is where the sole separation is. And that's not a hard fix. I'm just not fixing it in this video. And here's a little bit more of a close up on the actual shoe. You guys will notice that the mesh is a lot, a lot cleaner. The elephant print has been cleaned up as well. As far as like the ankle collar and the guts go, these are definitely a lot more clean. Of course, they're not pure white because it's just such an old shoe. And you guys can kind of see the comparison between ones that we threw in the wash and cleaned up versus the original thrifted pair. I think the laces are the easiest way to tell. And just the upper in general is a lot brighter. It's a lot wider. It's a lot cleaner. Obviously, these joints still have uh, that thrift dust on them. And then the last thing I just wanted to show really quickly was the insole. If you guys remember that insole that we had before, it was a lot dirtier than this. And this was only after one wash. I was trying to be very careful to make sure that I kept the Jordan Jumpman logo on the actual insole. But the Sasquatch footprint is no longer there. The only thing that I could not get out was this little stain right here. I'm not sure what it was, but obviously I cleaned them as much as I could. Tried to keep the Jumpman intact as much as I could and that little guy right there stays so I mean you can see you can see and for this last comparison I just wanted to show them side by side you got the clean version down below that rechute air joint and then up top you got the dirt McGurks from the thrift store that is the last little bit I will show you guys overall definitely definitely insane pickup and insane cleanup job as well and that is how you turn trash to cash listen promo codes Links all down below if you want to check out anything from Shuvenator. Thank you and shouts out to them as always. And I definitely need to do more of these in the future. This was a good find, bro. We got to beat it, though. We got to get one better. We got to get better steel than these. I'm out of here, though. Peace. Money doesn't grow on trees. Okay, someone explain to me then how the hell does my whole team just keep on raking it all in, huh? We stressed on, we pressed on, met with Hov and B, they told us.